Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Intro This will be the first of a series of YouTube presentations about my Samsung Smart Monitor M5 on my channel. In this video, I will show you, unboxing the Smart Monitor. This monitor can be used as a PC display or a secondary PC display, and can be used autonomously, without a PC, since it has Samsung Tizen OS, and when it's connected to Wi-Fi, and controlled with a mouse and keyboard either Bluetooth slash USB, or its remote control. You can play YouTube or Netflix, etc. videos, or use Microsoft Office 365. Since can be used without a computer, it also has speakers and a microphone on the remote control. Since this smart monitor device has many, many functions, it is worth reading the manual completely to make the most out of your purchase. Part A the user manual has invaluable information, along with the normal assembly instructions. It helped me extremely well and I want to share these habits in this YouTube video. With you, my audience and subscribers. This is the unboxing video, in which I have included tips and tricks for unboxing and usage slash maintaining your smart monitor, mostly from the manual. I read the manual and took notes slash annotations on my iPad and PDF. All links are in the description, along with Amazon purchase links. Part B. Following are some manual extracts, page 6. There are no user serviceable parts inside. Refer all servicing to qualified personnel. Page 7. Do not disconnect the power cord while the product is being used. Page 9. During a lightning or thunderstorm, power off the product and remove the power cable. Disconnect the power cord from the power socket if you do not plan on using the product for an extended period of time, vacation, etc. Page 10. Rest your eyes for more than 5 minutes or look at distant objects for every 1 hour of product use. Page 10. Cleaning. Take the following steps when cleaning. 1. Power off the product and PC. 2. Disconnect the power cord from the product. Hold the power cable by the plug and do not touch the cable with wet hands. Otherwise, an electric shock may result. 3. Wipe the product with a clean, soft, and dry cloth. Wet a soft cloth in water, wing it out well, and then use the cloth to wipe the exterior of the product clean. Do not apply a cleaning agent that contains alcohol, solvent, or surfactant to the product. Do not spray water or detergent directly on the product. Page 60. Using the app service download and run various apps from Smart Hub. Page 61. If the product's internal memory is insufficient, you can install some specific apps on a USB device. Part C. In this monitor model I have, on the back side exists a power slot, two HDMI slots, and two USB slots, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. When connected to the internet this device can play videos from YouTube or Netflix etc. without a PC or can play media from USB devices like USB sticks or USB HDD slash SSDs. Without a PC, or Mac connected. The product supports the FAT, XFAT, and NTFS file systems. Manual page 96 also, you can connect to your Samsung account, and you can install apps. From Samsung or third party or use the already installed default apps. Also, with the S27 M50 you can use Office 365, after login to your Microsoft account, and being connected to the internet. App availability may vary by country. Subscription required for some like Netflix. Remote control specifications may vary by country. TV tuner not included. Also, can connect to Android, 8.1 Plus, devices and Samsung Android devices supporting DeX. You can use AirPlay to view content from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac on the product screen. 2. In this first YouTube presentation about my Samsung Smart Monitor M5, I show the M5 as a second PC display. Dual display setup on Windows 10. The Samsung display is on the left-hand side. 
On the right hand side is an LG display. Take a look at the 6 advantages of Tizen OS on the Samsung Smart TV in this infographic to learn more. All links are in the description. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.